Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Brian, and today I'm going to do a quick video from a, uh, a request from a, a subscriber uh, wanting me to compare the Maxpedition VersaPack Jumbo versus the Maxpedition VersaPack Fat Boy. Um, essentially, they're the exact same bag as you as you see here, um, with a few minor differences, and obviously the size is a bit different. So over here we've got the Jumbo, and this black one is the Fat Boy version. And you can see real quick just by me putting them together how how you know the size difference. <clears throat> the Fat Boy is 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 quite a bit smaller, and you you definitely cannot put as much stuff in it. Um, you have to kind of think through what you want to put in there to make sure everything fits. But just to quickly kind of go over some of the similarities and differences of these bags. Uh, on top, on the Jumbo, you've got a, a pretty big flapper pocket up top. You do not have that on, on this one. You've got, on the Jumbo, you've got this large pocket on the side that you can... It's got a, a drawstring on it, and this will fit a full-size Nalgene bottle if you want to put that in there or whatever else you want to put in there. But it will fit a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle on this side. This does not have it. On the side of this one, you've just got a small pouch, okay? The Fat Boy does not have this pouch. On the side, you've got, you've got a, a standard zipper pouch on the side on the Jumbo. On the Fat Boy, you've got just a Velcro kind of basically a magazine pouch um, and I'll kind of go and I'll show you what I put in mine but you do not have that that large zipper on the side of, of this one um, up top basically the same same premise uh, this does not come on the jumbo I added this little uh, cell phone pouch separately so don't think this comes on one um, but it's just a little bit more compact, a little bit easier to carry around. Of course, you do have your concealed carry pocket up here. So if you're licensed to carry, you can you can put, if you don't want to carry on body, you can put your, your whatever you want to put in there. Uh, concealed weapon or turkey sandwich, whatever, whatever makes you happy. And this one also has it. And I will say that I'm, from experience, I can tell you uh, this pocket here will fit a uh, Glock 19, no, no problems whatsoever, or, you know, a BLT, whatever you want to put in there. So they, they both do have that concealed carry pocket up, up top, but you know, again, the, the size difference is, is pretty pronounced. Uh, this does weigh quite a bit more. I don't know the actual weight, but it's still comfortable to carry and I still do use it right now. I'm actually using this one because it's just a little bit lighter, a little bit smaller. Um, and I, and I was able to kind of minimize and condense everything I was carrying in here and put it in here. And I've been just fine. It doesn't obviously carry as much, but it, but it gets me by. So what I put in here um, is basically the same. So you've got your front small little tiny pocket you, uh, up here in the front on this flap. And they both open up the same way. And in here I, I can keep my Maxpedition barnacle with my little first aid kit and boo-boo kit and band-aids and stuff for the kids. I keep that in there. Um, got a handkerchief, got a, a pill pouch, pill pocket pouch thingy. Got a couple of, um, of brain ponchos that I actually put in a, a um, vacuum sealed bag to, to condense it down even further. So it compressed this a whole lot more, saving up a lot more space. Um, and that's, that's basically all that I have in there. So I'm gonna put this back in here. And it, this one does have the, if you take this out, it does have a, a weather sealed cinch collar that you can tighten up and, and cinch it down to make it a little bit more waterproof, water, resi water resistant, I guess. Um, up front, you've got a little pouch. I keep my wallet. Um, you do have a little zipper pouch here. Here I keep, not a whole lot, I keep a little pad um, and a small little flashlight, but you do have one small front front pocket in here and then uh, again on the side you've got some molly webbing on this front little pocket uh, and here I keep a mask unfortunately that we still have to use those keep uh, some charging cables and I keep a little 10,000 whoops I keep a little 10,000 milliamp uh, power bank in there 
And that's all I'll keep in that pocket because I found that's really all that that I need um, day to day. Over here on the side in this magazine compartment, <clears throat> I just keep a, I keep my skeletal Leatherman right there. Zip it, buckle that back up. And then over here, you've got another small little uh, buckled compartment. I guess maybe back when Max Expedition built this, they were anticipating us to be able to put our phones in it. It's way too small for any phone that I have seen. So I keep uh, some lip balm, some Repel, and some Visine in this little pocket. That's all I keep up there. But when you, bu when you buckle this thing down, er everything stays put really well. It's, I'm not worried about it falling out and I just cinch it down and, and it stays put. So that's there. I'll put my wallet back. For the Maxpedition, keep forgetting the name, Fat Boy for this. Um, and these are my keys. And again, this is just that little quick detach magazine key, uh, magnetic keychain that I found that, that I really like. So again, just a quick, uh, you know, size comparison again. Fat boy, and you've got your jumbo. So, pretty big difference in size. As hopefully you can kind of tell from here. Um, if I was going on a longer trip or going out of town, I would probably use this just because you can get a lot more in it. But for me, for day to day and things that I find that I need to use for the kids and just keeping my truck, this one has been perfect. And I like it a little bit more because it is a little bit smaller and easier to kind of, uh, you know, take with you wherever you're going to go. This is still a good bag and I still do use it from time to time. It's just a little bit bigger. Um, and you can definitely keep a lot more stuff in this, but here's the two, you know, again, just two size differences. If that, if you guys were, were trying to kind of figure out what you needed in terms of either a jumbo or a fat boy, um, I don't really have a recommendation one or the other. It's just kind of what you want to carry. If you need to carry a lot of stuff and if you don't mind a little bit bigger bag, then the jumbo is perfect. I, I love this bag, but for me, I've kind of switched over to using the the smaller uh, Fat Boy just because again, it's a little bit easier. I didn't need to carry all the stuff that I had in here day to day, so I've I've minimized my my carry. I have condensed it to really truly what I need on a day to day basis when I get in the truck or wh whatever I'm doing. So I, I'm able to get everything in here that I need. So that's a, just a real quick visual comparison of the two in case you were trying to figure out which size you needed i don't know if there's a whole lot of videos right now at least on youtube comparing these two bags side by side together um, at least the current video i, I was told that there, there's some few out there but they're very very old and not in hd and kind of hard to tell what it was so i hope that helped uh, whoever was looking to compare these two bags so um with that guys till next time see ya